Hey guys, this is Alex of Finding Wholesomeness. When following God, we expect to see a lot of big things happen. In the Bible, we hear about people getting visited by angels, but I still haven't seen one. Maybe I heard about someone who God solved all of their financial problems, but I'm still living paycheck to paycheck. I read about how Lazarus was raised from the dead, but God, where were you when my loved one died? God, why didn't you prevent this person from leaving, or why didn't you prevent this awful situation? And I could go on and on about this, but that's not what this is about. What this is really about is still believing even when we don't see those things. Even when we don't feel him near, and even as the world is crashing all around us, we still need to remain strong in our faith. As it says in Hebrews 1.11, Now faith is assurance of things hoped for, the convention of things not seen. Because even if he didn't prevent that thing from happening, even if you see no change in your life right now, even if you start to lack in your belief, or even if you are surrounded by your enemies, we still need to remain strong. Relying on seeing something will only trip us up. When you're looking for a big change or proof, you don't see all the little things that God is doing for you right now. We need to walk in faith and not by sight. Oftentimes we rely on things that we can see in front of us. I can hear it. I can see it. I can feel it. I can touch it. But these are things that are legible, like a calculator. But there are some things that we can't see and feel and touch. The things that we can't see or feel or touch are really important too. You can't see or touch God because you can't see or touch something that is inside of you. So stop looking around, but instead, look through the eyes of your heart. Do not rely on your own understanding, but rather, begin walking by faith. Thanks for watching. This is Alex of Finding Wholesomeness, signing out. Bye.